What's going on guys, Alex here and welcome to Monster Motors. So, if you're a regular viewer, you might know, well, hopefully you notice a slight difference in quality and audio. I finally upgraded my camera and I've got a um, external mic as well. So fingers crossed, it's actually going to be better quality video, better quality audio. I'm just not sure how it's going to work when pointing the camera away and whatnot, but it's all part of the testing. So. Hopefully it's going to be an improvement overall, but we'll find out with this video, I guess. And uh, yeah, if you guys just let me know down in the comments, if you are a regular viewer, is the quality any better or is the old camera better? Just let me know all of these things, but let's get to it. So today is episode four, I believe, of Project Zero to Track Hero. Now, due to the tier four rules that have come out in my area, I can't carry on with like the spoiler and the steering wheel as I was gonna have a couple of mates help me out. It's just easier with like spare pairs of hands and all that, especially with the spoiler, just getting it in position and drilling the holes and all that. It's just better if someone can hold it in place while sort of like measuring up and making the holes and all that, just to avoid any issues. So something that I can do on my own is wrap the Clio. So we are in the shop and uh, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to start stripping down like bits of the car. So what I'm going to do is obviously remove the badges and non plates come off. I'm going to remove the light clusters front and rear. I'm going to remove the wing mirrors and obviously like the little bits and pieces. Now because i'm going for like a race theme wrap on this i'm not going to be removing the door handles if it was uh, a full color change or something like that then door handles would come off i wrap them separately uh, and whatnot these bump strips i'm going to see if they come off the front ones come off quite easily i found that out on the driver's side i was trying to push that off but literally just these pull back and come off like that. So I don't know if there was meant to be some tape holding it in place or not, but I'm going to remove those and print out a separate bit um, to just rewrap them just to get a need to finish over those. But like I said, I'm just gonna remove, uh, leave the door handles in place, probably wrap this bit in matte black first and uh, then just wrap over it. So, Another thing that I need to do is remove the spoiler as I don't know if you can quite tell but it sits up this side compared to this side. Now when I removed the spoiler in the past there's like a box under here where someone's added in the aftermarket effect so that when you press the brakes this flashes rather than staying on. So it flashes quickly a few times, flashes slowly and then stays on. It's just to sort of like make people more aware that you're braking. Well, that's what I presume anyway. But uh, because of that box there, it doesn't quite sit flush anymore. And like you can see there's a lip there. And if I open the boot, it's been catching it ever since I've got it. So uh, you can see, I don't know if you can see, but it's sort of like starting to get out of the paint a little bit, or at least a clear coat. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut a, uh, a square underneath the spoiler where that box can sit in and hopefully it should all then fit flush again. It's just little bits like that tidying up and then obviously the other spoiler is just going to sit around here somewhere. But uh, that's about it for the car. Uh, yeah, walked you through stripping everything. So let's go over to my computer where I'll show you the actual design. So, this is what I've drawn up. This is what I'm gonna go for. So, the background is all going to be printed on Arlon SLX Plus. It's uh, one of their new materials and uh, I'm quite looking forward to trying this out. And it's going to be matte laminated. Uh, my logos, they're all separate, so they're not going to be printed uh, initially as I'm going to be doing something a little bit different with them. I'm going to be matching those to my van 
which is the Arlon Illuminite, so the reflective stuff. So basically what I'm going to do is the car itself is going to be standard matte finish. And front bumper and rear bumper I'm going to do in just plain matte black, not have the design carrying on around there. I will have it carrying on around the sides of the front bumper and the sides of the rear bumper. As if we go and have a look at the car, you've got this quite nice line here, so I'm just going to carry it around and finish it off somewhere around there on the rear. And same again on the front, you've got that nice line there and just sort of finish it off around there somewhere. But yeah, I'm going to do like this in a bit, all in matte black, just because it's going to, with all like the track days and whatnot that I'm planning to do, it's like, especially the front bumper, it's just going to be one of them high impact areas. So I just want something that I can easily change rather than having to reprint the entire section, match it all up. It's just easier just to have just a plain matte black and just replace that as and when needs be. But um, yeah, so that's the plan for that. And then the logos and all like the various companies that have helped me out, they're all going to be in reflective. So I've not put the other companies in yet, but they'll probably be sort of either down along here or up, up along around here. I've not quite decided, but I'll work that out. Because if we look at here, the side skirt's not really that big. So I think it might look nice just going up the rear arch just along there so i'll probably play about with uh, the positioning of uh, of my logo and uh, yeah we'll, we'll see how it goes so i think that's about it for talking you through the plans i think we should uh, get printing and get stripping and uh, once that's done i will start fitting it all up Okay, so fast forward about 45 minutes, bumper is off, lights are out, wing mirrors are off, trims are off, like I said, the door handle's staying on, rear lights are out, uh, little no plate lights out, and the spoiler I've actually managed to fix. So, no more creaking. Turns out it wasn't even the box, it was um, where the previous owner had done the wiper delete the little hose for the washer jet they just like squeezed in some random spot which was lifting up that that side of the spoiler so yeah just uh just goes to show some people don't quite uh pay all that much attention when doing mods but literally it was a case of two minutes where if, if you were fitting it you just test fit it see it doesn't quite fit properly go and check why not see it's that hose then just reroute it or what I done I just literally just chopped it off because well I'm never putting it back on so uh, I'm probably gonna detint the windows as well because when the roll cage is in and all that I kind of want to have it on show it's, it's it's a yellow roll cage so I want it to stand out and obviously show off the bucket seats when they're in there and the uh, indicators have been removed so yeah strip down is complete so it's just a case of uh, finishing up the printing, laminating it, and then we'll just get straight to fitting. But um, probably what I'm gonna do is I'll just have it as a time-lapse for the whole thing. I won't explain what I'm doing as I'm doing it. It's quite straightforward. You'd literally just clean everything and then wrap it. So yeah, well, I clean it before, well, I cleaned the car yesterday and I put it in here overnight so that way it would be dry. Obviously I need to, clean all of this bits as well but I literally just quick car wash clean I then go over it again with water and fairy liquid just to sort of get rid of anything else and before wrapping if we head over here this is what I use the Avery surface cleaner it's probably the best one that I've found so far and a lot of people use it so it must be good but uh, yeah I reckon probably just time lapse the whole thing or at least sections of it so enjoy that little montage and I'll see you again probably when it's all complete.
So the car is now done. It took about two and a little bit days. So it weren't too bad. Uh, and I'm really happy with it. So all that's left is let's roll it outside and check it out in the sunlight. So there we have it, the full wrap in the Arlon SLX Plus range with the matte laminate and then the, all the logos I've done in the Arlon Illuminite with a gloss laminate so the same as my van. So if we sort of catch the light right, I think we we'll probably have to go from this angle. You can see that it's all reflective and it shines back at you. So yeah. and. Uh, I wrapped the front and rear Renault badges with uh, blue chrome because, well, <laughs> why not? I had some spare, so we could just pretend it's a EV. So that is pretty much it for the wrap. I hope you guys like it. I'm over the moon with it. So obviously we've got all the companies that helped me out on there, as well as uh, my company being the biggest one, obviously. But yeah, um, I'm actually over the moon with it. Really, really happy with it. So that's it for today's video guys, I hope you've enjoyed, hope you all had a great Christmas and a happy new year as well, as it's that time of year isn't it? So don't know what video will be next, um, still got a few bits to fit, I've got a couple other bits that are arriving so I'm not sure what order I'll be doing bits in, but rest assured there's going to still be plenty more videos coming out on this as the project track cart is in full swing and now that we've got the uh, graphics on it just personalizes it that bit more for me and yeah I'm, I just can't wait to get it out on track uh, get a few photos on track and start getting the practice in seeing as I've got everything ready to go it's just a matter of uh, tracks opening and letting us go so thanks for watching guys make sure to drop the video a like and make sure to subscribe as there's going to be plenty more videos to come cheers <laughs>